Hello my friends, this is Joshua McGrath from Doppler Interactive presenting to you for the first time Tidy Tile Mapper. Uh, Tidy Tile Mapper is a brand new extension for the Unity editor allowing you to paint tile maps for your games in a quick and hopefully entertaining manner. I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump right into it, show you exactly what it does and how you would generally go about using it and I think we're both going to walk away better people. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to a, an empty scene here and uh, Let's go for it. On the right here you can see the Tidy Tile Mapper window. Um, I'm going to go through chronologically for you uh, exactly how you, the new user, would uh, would get into using Tidy Tile Mapper. So we'll go ahead and click the Block Editor button up here at the top. And this opens the Block Editor window. Um, on the left here are all the blocks you've currently created. So we'll go ahead and select the standard block which comes uh, with the asset uh, on the asset store. Uh, now a block is the fundamental object from which your map is created. Uh, within a, a block there are many many block sets and each block set represents an orientation of the block and an orientation is uh, the the state of the block related to blocks around it so if we look at the top one here uh, as reflected by this icon uh, this block when surrounded by absolutely nothing will be reflected by this block set on the right here um, so as you can see this has one variation inside it, the one below it when the block is completely surrounded has two variations, uh, you can really have as many as you like and these will come into play uh, later, I'll, I'll show you this. So this is the block editor, uh, you come in, you configure your blocks, these, these variations here are just game objects, they can really be anything you like, they don't necessarily have to be cubes like we're using here, they could be uh, trees or birds or spheres or characters or really anything you wish to place in your map. Uh, Tidy Tile Mapper is an object placement system so it doesn't uh, doesn't enforce or or constrain you in any way with what you put in your maps. Uh, excellent, so let's go ahead and we'll close the block editor window. We've got our standard block all set up and let's create a new map. So if we move down here we can go to map creation, we'll add a new map name. We'll call it demo map. Uh, a few advanced options here, I'll quickly run you through. Our tile width and height uh, relate to the size of our, our blocks. Uh, as you can see in the editor, we're using uh, cubes that were one by one. You could really use anything you like, uh, you know, five by one, any unusual shape you want. It just tells the map, this is the manner in which I want you to tile. Uh, chunk width and height will come up in a second, I'll, I'll show you what that means. And growth axis is whether you want the map to go out and up, like a side-scrolling platformer, or out and forward, uh, as in deep, like uh, a top-down game, a maze, or, or anything like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and add this map. Bang! So as you see in the scene view, it's added this little uh, transparent grey uh, entity. Uh, now this is a chunk uh, placeholder, and it's the, the core of the map creation system. Um, so if we move down to our map tools here, we'll select paint, uh, anything that's not disabled really. We'll select a block, uh, that we want to initialize this chunk with, so we'll say maybe empty block for the sake of argument, and we'll just click on it in scene view. Bang! So you can see it's uh, converted all this chunk to blocks and added chunks around the outside. Now I'll show you why that does that uh, right now. You just go ahead and you click on whichever chunks uh, represent the direction in which you want your map to grow. Uh, so it's very organic, you can really grow the map in whatever way you like, uh, and it will automatically expand and uh, and so forth. So excellent, we've made a, a sort of beginner map here. Let's go ahead and puff it out in this direction too, just for the sake of a nice little preview down the bottom. Uh, excellent, now let's go ahead and in our map tools, still selecting paint, we'll select our standard block and let's go ahead and make a level. Uh, maybe we'll put some grass blocks in here. As you can see I'm just clicking and dragging in scene view. Um, on the chunks that I've already created. Um, and as you can see, all of the blocks are automatically orienting themselves as you specified in the block editor. So we've got some flowers on the flats and some vaguely uh, slanted grass on the corners and, uh, and our standard dirt blocks in the centers. I think we're looking pretty good here. What do you think? Excellent. I'll just close it off being the vaguely obsessive person that I am. And, uh, excellent! There we go. And then we'll round off this chunk that I just initialized. Beautiful! That is looking like something. So, let's go ahead and say, done. That's the map that we want. And uh, now we want to, to give it a test. Just press play. As you can see, it's removed all of the working blocks. And now you're free to run around and do 
as you wish inside your brand new level uh, and say well I'm not 100% happy these corners up the top here bit sharp they're not to my taste I'll just uh, stop it and uh, go ahead and uh, round those off a little bit and uh, it's as easy as that well, let's go ahead and have a look at the uh, block painting tools in a little more depth uh, just to show you what's available there we've already covered painting uh, but what about painting random we've got a random button here uh, now this brings into play the variations that we saw earlier so if we go down here to say our grass blocks uh, maybe we'll uh, randomize these a little bit as you can see the grass is occasionally uh, a flat with no flowers sometimes with flowers the dirt is occasionally with rocks occasionally not so it's it's randomizing in the variations that that you've uh, set up in your tile editor um, this is so that you can automatically get a nice organic feel without having to go through and uh, and tweak which blocks you want uh, in which manner but uh, let's say you don't want to do that let's say you want to, to do it manually uh, we've got our cycle block uh, tool this does two things a left click on any block will cycle through all the available blocks in your swatches over here uh, so we'll click here you would see it goes from standard block to empty block to standard block to empty block uh, were you to right click however on a block it will cycle through the variations in that block so as you can see I'm right clicking on this tile here rocks no rocks rocks no rocks no flowers flowers no flowers flowers um, so these are your these are your painting tools uh, in tidy tile mapper um, fantastic so let's say for the sake of argument yeah it's nice and random I think it's looking pretty nice uh, we want to publish this and uh, use it in a game so we'll go ahead and disable our painting tools and uh, we'll just select our map. You can select a map by clicking on anything belonging to the map. It will figure out what map it belongs to. And uh, you'll see over here in Map Management, it's now selected. Um, and we can go ahead and click Publish Map. And what Publish Map will do is we'll uh, take that map that you've just built, create a prefab from it, save it to your Maps directory, and remove all of the working uh, blocks and, and scripts from it so that it's nice and efficient and uh, free to use in your game. So let's go ahead and move to a little bit of an empty space here so we can see nicely. Go down to our Maps folder and drag that prefab into the scene. And bang, there you go. A nice, clean tile map painted by you, the user, uh, with Tidy Tile Mapper. Um, so that's the rough workflow uh, for creating your levels in Tidy Tile Mapper. Um, I'll put up some tutorials uh, in the coming days uh, going through creating your block, painting your map, uh, advanced features and such um, but this is this is the the product as it stands I I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this video and it's uh, it's inspired you to to tile mapping greatness um, if you're interested in in the, the products check it out on the asset store the unity asset store or uh, go over to our blog and have a look at the the making of and uh, other little fun facts about it or uh, feel free to hit me up on on Twitter I'm, uh, I'm always on there complaining about one thing or another uh, thank you so much for watching the video. This has been Joshua McGrath from Doppler Interactive presenting to you Tidy Tile Mapper.